uh, if I tell you that I am going to talk about Ben, uh, you are likely to think that I am going to talk about Ben Graham. No, I am going to talk about the other Ben, Benjamin Franklin. He is the man who said uh, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise, right? Uh, many people have said something similar that, uh, but I am not talking about that. I am talking about why we need to go back to US for every uh, bit of data on how investors behave because uh, tracking investor behavior, tracking what they say versus what they do is not easy and it takes a lot of effort, lot of money and lot of intelligence, right? Uh, opinion polls uh, take a lot of effort. So, we do not as a country do too many opinion polls. We know nothing about our retirement, how we save for retirement. Recently, PGM did a survey which uh, I have a copy, but not enough is being done. You Talking to 3000 people is good, great, but in this country, maybe you need 30,000 people to arrive at better conclusions, right? Uh, I am not going to talk about that also. I am going to talk about something very different. I am going to talk about a, when people start investing for the long run, uh, their health improves. This sounds very odd, right? But research in uh, US proves this and the research has been done over very long periods of time and I recently read a report dated 2014 which is again 7 years old which says when a person takes a long term view on their money right so which means you are giving up your small treats of life the like the marshmallow test like if I see an attractive short term investment today or trade I give that up and put the money and say no I need this money only after 10 years and therefore at this index I can afford to take a risk whereas perhaps the market is terribly overpriced uh, and uh, could fall. So, as a trading call it would be disastrous, but as an investment call which I know I am going to take a 10 year view, I know that the index will go from 50,000 to maybe 100,000 or maybe more than that and in the meanwhile it will dip a little uh, up and down, but that does not bother me. So, a person when he starts taking or she starts taking interest in the long term benefit of investing suddenly they start looking at their own life also. So, there is always this spillover of what you are learning in one field to come to the other areas. It is not easy. You have to make a deliberate attempt. So, suddenly you are saving for your investment for your retirement or you are investing for your retirement which is actually 20 years away. You are under 40 and you started suddenly you look at your uh, health reports and you decide oh let me take care of my health. This has happened to many investors that they keep earning a lot of money then they have created far more money than they need and they realize that they have not taken care of their health. There is no point in doing something like this whereas a person who starts saving for his retirement or investing for his retirement looks at his reports and says oh my god is it so bad is my cholesterol so high can, what can I do can I say I will not uh, go to the office on Fridays, I will just uh, look after my health better, I will monitor what I am doing, I will go to the gym 3 days a week, I will run 4 days a week, whatever. Whatever is your plan, you suddenly start doing all that, you start eating sensibly, you start exercising because you want your money to stay with you for a longer period. You also realize the cost of uh, health, cost of looking after, cost of a trained nurse 24 hours is not less. So, taking care of your health is a fantastic uh, thing to do in the longer run uh, if you want to take care of your retirement because retirement with good health is much easier to handle than retirement without good health, right? If you are 92 years of age and you are struggling that is fine, but you are 62 years of age and you are struggling, you cannot walk, you cannot sit in one place, you have lots of problems, you need to handle all that and that you will do because at 45 or 40 when you start investing you realize that to manage all your uh, requirements with a fixed budget the most important thing to handle is your health. I think it is also called time discounting which is a person's tendency to value uh, smaller in intermediate rewards over future desired results and that happens in both in health and in wealth. In wealth it looks like oh let me trade and make some money. And in health it looks like oh just one biscuit that I am eating, just one samosa that I am eating, just one cup of tea that I am having and you break all the rules and you know 
uh, you start giving up but it is not i don't think it happens very automatically you may have to make an effort to say oh i know sip works in my investing so sip has to work in my health also so i will exercise every day though i know that every day i will not be able to see the impact but the impact is felt over a long period of time maybe 30 days 40 days 50 days and suddenly you're uh, walking faster you're breathing better and all those things have happened and how did this happen it happened because you started investing for your old age or your for your uh, retirement and then suddenly you thought you should take care of your health you stopped eating junk food you stopped smoking uh and your food starts tasting better because your tongue buds have now no sense of tobacco coming in no uh, over salted over sweetened uh, packet stuff you decide to you and your partner decided to cook at home right all these kind of small minor changes don't have an immediate effect it's like your sip of uh, say 500 rupees a month or 1000 rupees a month or 2000 rupees a month it'll take a very very long time and a boring market to build up some corpus but by the time you're in the 7th or 8th year you've built up a good corpus and uh, how did this happen again the habits right uh i th- thanks